with the passing of their beloved 12th president, His Excellency Fidel V. Ramos. The people of the Philippines are mourning the loss of a remarkable leader who ensured peace, stability, and prosperity for his country. Among his many accomplishments while in office, His Excellency opened the nation's doors to thousands of our Laxis, also known as Vietnamese refugees in the 1990s, after being introduced to Supreme Master Ching Hai's humanitarian efforts on their behalf. The uh, Philippines was seen as uh, the first as well as the last sanctuary of the uh, Vietnamese uh, refugees. And so those that uh, could not find a new home outside uh, were allowed to stay in the Philippines. And this was uh, one of the, uh, I would say, uh, most gratifying policies that uh, we promulgated during my time as president. For me, you are Mr. Ramos, <laughs> my hero. You're more than president. <laughs> Sending her loving prayers and sympathy, Supreme Master Ching Hai requested for our association members to respectfully convey her and our association's heartfelt condolences with gifts and flowers. The following is a report from our association members in the Philippines. After arranging for two wreaths of funeral flowers from Master to be delivered to the funeral site, we arrived on August 6 at 7 p.m. to the reception area. We had the opportunity to speak with Mrs. Celeste Matrugo, former secretary of the late president, who knows Master, as she was in Taiwan or Formosa during the celebration when Master honored the late president with the Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion. Mrs. Matrugo said that the former first family was not receiving visitors due to COVID-19 safety protocols, and as she herself was not authorized to receive any gifts, she called Mr. Cornelio Herbacio, a representative for the family, to have him deliver the sympathy card and tea gifts on our behalf. We shared with Mrs. Madrugo how thankful Supreme Master Ching Hai and our association members are to President Fidel V. Ramos for helping the Aulaxis or Vietnamese refugees during their desperate time, and that Master and our association will always be grateful and never forget His Excellency's kindness. We also explained to Mr. Hebesio that the card contained a copy of the Supreme Master Television tribute video and requested if he could let the family know. When we arrived, a funeral service was being held by the armed forces of the Philippines with a series of eulogies delivered to honor the late president. After it ended, we also paid our deepest respects and offered sincere prayers before the urn of His Excellency. We joined in loving sympathy for the close ones and fellow citizens of His Excellency Fidel V. Ramos, the magnanimous father of the Philippines. May his soul rest peacefully in God's eternal light as his legacy on earth of benevolent leadership lives on.
Japan supports Iraqis facing food insufficiency. The government of Japan recently donated 6.4 million US dollars to the United Nations World Food Program, or WFP, to be used to assist up to 255,000 internally displaced Iraqis and 12,000 food insecure individuals. They are being negatively impacted by rising food prices that have been escalated by the war in Ukraine. Iraq is also being dramatically affected by climate change, which is compounding food scarcity. Additionally, help is being given to those families that have returned home with initiatives to assist them in rebuilding their livelihoods. Japan is a shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion, Generosity and Animal Protection Laureate. Thank you Japan for your gracious contribution and World Food Program for your collaboration to ensure the funds are implemented quickly to achieve the maximum benefit. May Iraq's dignified and resilient people quickly surmount these challenges and prosper in Allah's eternal blessings. More meat in UK contaminated with life-threatening salmonella. In a joint investigation, United Kingdom-based non-profit the Bureau of Investigative Journalism and the British newspaper The Guardian have found a rise in raw and processed meat of poultry people contaminated with salmonella infantis, one of the most virulent of the over 2,500 types of salmonella bacteria. Moreover, animal person feed as well as the flesh of cow and pig individuals have also tested positive for the pathogen. Alarmingly, some of the tests have indicated antibiotic-resistant infections of the bacteria's superbug variants, which have been linked to large-scale food poisoning outbreaks. According to the World Health Organization, foodborne salmonella, which is one of four main global sources of diarrheal diseases, causes over 78 million cases of illness and over 59,000 deaths annually worldwide. Our gratitude for sharing these important, disturbing findings, the Bureau of Investigative Journalism and The Guardian. To prevent fatal zoonotic outbreaks, may humankind urgently embrace the safe and healthful vegan lifestyle in heaven's protection. New California USA law introduces unprecedented restrictions on single-use plastics. The Plastic Pollution Producer Responsibility Act requires that 30% of all types of plastic items sold in California are to be recyclable by 2028 and 65% by 2032. The Act also mandates a 25% lessening in single-use plastic waste by 2032 and expanded polystyrene by 2025. Single-use plastics make up nearly half of all plastic pollution worldwide. Plastic waste causes tremendous environmental destruction. For example, the materials degrade into toxic particles and enter our waterways, thus causing harm to humans and marine animal people's health. California is a recipient of Shining World Leadership Awards for Environmental Protection, Compassion, Justice and Good Governor and a laureate of four Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion, a Shining World Leadership Award for Protection, Shining World Super Loving Care Leadership Award and two Shining World Leadership Awards for Loving Care. Great work, California, for implementing this important legislation to aid in the protection of our environment and all living beings. We pray that the governments around the world follow your example in helping to create a greener and cleaner planet in divine guidance. Nigerian state initiates free healthcare service program for disadvantaged people. The Honorable May Malabuni, the governor of Yobe, has announced the introduction of a new expanded and revamped free healthcare service program in the Nigerian state. The initiative aims to improve the accessibility and quality of healthcare services for vulnerable and underprivileged people. The governor also announced a personal donation of almost 2,900 US dollars to enroll 100 disadvantaged individuals working in the informal sector in another state health insurance program for a year. In related developments, Nigeria enacted a universal health coverage law in May 2022 that will assist up to 83 million indigent persons in purchasing health insurance. Our hats off to you, the Honorable May Malabuni, and all state and national authorities involved on your noble efforts to provide better medical care to your co-citizens.
in celestial comfort, may the soulful people of Nigeria be infinitely blessed with well-being and happiness. Brave railway station staff member in India hailed as hero for rescuing man on train tracks. The Railway Ministry of India has commended Indian Railways employee H. Satish Kumar for jumping onto the tracks to save a man despite the danger of an oncoming train. The Ministry of Railways tweeted a video of the act and wrote, Indian Railways is proud to have daring and diligent staff like H. Satish Kumar and commends his bravery. After the clip of the rescue went viral, Mr. Kumar's heroism was widely discussed on Twitter. Many people expressed their admiration with comments such as, people like him make the world a better place. Appreciate the person who helped. We applaud your courage, H. Satish Kumar, and commend your dedication to the safety of others. May God's favor be forever with you and those you look out for. Centenarian Marathoner credits plant-fueled diet for achieving world records. American vegan athlete Mike Fremont has set marathon time records for his single-year age group at 88 and 90, and recently celebrated his 100th birthday with a 10-kilometer run around Vero Beach, Florida. His vegan life started after he was diagnosed with cancer at the age of 69. However, Mr. Fremont chose to turn to a plant-based lifestyle instead of getting surgery for his condition. Through this wholesome diet, Mr. Fremont overcame cancer to his doctor's surprise. In addition to running 8 kilometers three times a week, the robust man does other workouts such as solo kayaking and body weight exercises. In an interview, Mr. Fremont gave his secret to longevity, no question in my mind, absolutely. It is diet that has determined my existence, my continued existence, and my beautiful health. Such a great spirit of passion, Mike Fremont. May your shining example of veganism inspire others to follow the plant-based lifestyle of well-being in the delight of the providence. Ukrainian Animal Person Shelter rehomes furry residents. Veterinarian Dr. Natalia Mazur set up a temporary shelter in the southern area of Kiev, which has been in operation since the end of May this year. From that time, it has housed 195 plus animal individuals and 160 of them have been reunited with their human companion or rehomed. Volunteers help by feeding the animal folk and taking them for walks around the grassy pavilion. Soothing the sensitive feline and canine people by spending quality time talking to them is also very important after their traumatic experience of being in a war zone and becoming separated from or losing their caregivers. Many thanks Dr. Natalia Mazur and volunteers for your care of our precious displaced animal friends. We pray that this shelter continues to be a beacon of heaven's loving light. 